Good morning, friends. Good morning. We are Debbie and Bob Noteduft in Kirksville, Missouri. We have lived at least some of the past year and a half in a heightened state of anxiety. COVID has ravaged our country and our world with hundreds of thousands of death in our nation, no end in sight due to inadequate vaccination levels. And now another new variant popping up. Our democracy itself seems threatened by developments in our country as some seek to trumpet the benefits of more authoritarian governments. Racism and gun violence are on open display at times. The rich are getting so much, much richer while the poor grow poorer. We are a divided nation on so many levels. No wonder our anxiety is high. That there, folks, is a very half-empty glass. I can counterbalance that list with some, no many, positives. I am grateful that our country is not currently at war. My two sons who recently had COVID are recovering. We have water to drink, food to eat, a place to live, and so much more. We've been enjoying some lovely days in December. The Advent services have been such a blessing. I could go on and on. We have entered into the third week of Advent when we light the candle of joy and fearlessness. That candle is what got me thinking about all the things that make me anxious and afraid. But God has a better plan for me and for you when we are facing scary times. Listen to some of the precious verses in the Bible that talk about fear, about being afraid, and about God's response. Isaiah 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. From Psalm 46, verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. In Psalm 27, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then this gem, Psalm 56, verse 3, When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. God is not ignorant of this glass full of anxieties and stressors weighing on me. But as I become aware of them and how I am feeling about them, I have a choice. I can wallow in my fear and anxiety, which is a very unpleasant place to be. Or I can choose to trust God to handle the situations causing my fear or to see me safely through them. Doing that brings me peace and trust. I still need to make wise, considered choices, but God promises to help me, to help us, even when everything around us is falling apart. This morning, we are delighted to be joined by Pastor Scott Beard and by Marcy Graham as we sing the song, Everywhere I Go. This joyful song was written by musician Tim Timmons in 2016. Tim is a worship musician and a cancer survivor. The song talks about not being afraid, come what may. Please sing along if you know it. Everywhere I go on this road, high and low, where I go, I go with you. There's a city that calls me by name. There's a city that calls me by name. Yes, and I run this race. I am cheered by the saints. There's a city that calls me by name. runs through 
week.